Chandrayaan-3 mission is in its last phase. After the Chandrayaan-3 lander module was successfully separated from the propulsion module on August 17, the lander module is trying to locate a spot for the perfect soft landing on the moon, which will lead to a historic landing. Once the lander lands on the moon's south pole, it will be a historic moment for India, as it will become the first country to reach the lunar south pole. But it will be a job half done for ISRO. The real work for ISRO will start after lander Vikram's touchdown, as the scientists will be busy with rover operations for one lunar day, that is, 14 Earth days. ISRO scientists will begin analyzing tons of data that will be coming from five scientific instruments on board lander and the rover. What will happen after the touchdown? Once the lander Vikram lands on the moon's surface, one side panel of the Vikram lander will unfold, creating a ramp for the Pragyan rover. The six-wheeler Pragyan rover with the national emblem and the ISRO logo embossed on its wheels will get down from the Vikram lander's body on the lunar surface after four hours moving at the speed of 1 cm per second. The rover will use navigational cameras to scan the lunar surrounding. As it rolls, the rover will leave imprints of the Indian emblem and ISRO logo on the lunar soil, making a mark of India on the moon. The rover has instruments configured with payloads to provide data on the moon's surface. The rover will transfer the data to Vikram lander, communicating it with ISRO on Earth. Now, what will the lander and the rover study? The objectives of Chandrayaan-3 are to have a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, to demonstrate the rover rowing on the moon, and to conduct on-location experiments. Apart from these objectives, the payload attached to the lander and the rover will study the lunar surface, the processes of the lunar body and its formation. The rover will gather the elemental composition of the moon's atmosphere and send all the data to the lander. With three payloads, the Vikram lander will measure the near-surface plasma density, measure the lunar surface thermal properties, measure seismicity around the landing site and delineate the lunar crust and mantle structure. The solar-powered lander and rover will have about two weeks to study the lunar surroundings. ISRO says the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter can also be used as a contingency communications relay.